Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, AABB had some news today regarding management. Uh, AABB is appointing new management in the coming weeks. Uh, they, you know, I don't know what uh, new management they're going to hire or bring in, but uh, it could be pretty exciting with the, with new management. But uh, you know, they are pleased to announce that the company is finalizing the appointment of new management personnel person, personnel this month as a a b b moves towards the development and expansion of mining operations a a b b g gold back cryptocurrency and administration in incentives the company requires to add expertise and professional supervision to achieve its goal concurrently with the upcoming management appointment AABB will be publishing a new website and with comprehensive information highlighting all aspects of the company. Furthermore, subsequently the, to establish new management transition, the company plans to release an audit status update. Sounds kind of exciting. Um, I'm holding on to my shares. So, you know, it's up right now. It's green. Not too much to say about this, but uh, it looks like a new uptrending uh, uptrend is starting. I'm hoping uh, to see this thing go to a dollar. It might not, but I'm hoping. We'll see. Only time will tell. The, the new management news could push the stock up higher once that gets released. I don't know why they even you uh, first of all it kind of makes no sense to me they why they even released this information because um like why don't they just release it when the new management comes why do they have to release it now it just kind of makes no sense to me so let's talk a little bit about planet 13 uh so yesterday i made a video about planet 13 i answered doesn't mean that Planet 13 will buy all Ianthus. I'm just saying that Ianthus is a very attractive acquisition for the price they're offering it at, uh, or the current price. But Planet 13 can acquire anybody. I just think that if Planet 13 was, if they wanted rapid expansion, if they wanted like to grow faster, the best way to do it is to acquire especially since their stock price is so valuable right now they're valued at 1.64 billion dollars when they only have one dispensary and one growing facility uh in nevada they're not even in any, any other state they're only in currently in nevada and they're valued at 1.64 billion dollars wouldn't it be a good time to use their valuable stock to go and acquire some companies. And I just thought that Ianthus was an attractive acquisition because they have such a small market cap that, you know, Planet 13 can approach Ianthus and talk to them and be like, you know, we'll help you out uh, with all your debt problems uh, and we'll merge with you, you know. Couldn't they just do that? I don't know if they, they want to, but they could if they wanted to. But, uh, no, I think that that merger would be pretty awesome because maybe that will push the stock price up higher. I don't know the day, and that would save Vianthus from all the uh, legal problems they have. So, High Tide uh, had some news today. Uh, High Tide extends maturity date and reduces interest rate and convertible strategic partners Conver uh, conversion rate with strategic partners uh, they reduce the interest from 10 to 7 percent and the conversion of 0.75 percent remains unchanged the debenture amendments agreement remains subjected to approval of the Toronto Stock Exchange venture it's 
good. I don't know. Reducing interest rates is always good. Uh, you know, the stock is up today, three cents. So maybe it's not going to crash. Maybe it, uh, that was a buying opportunity. I don't know at the end of the day. I don't move stocks. I just, well, I was hoping it was going to go down to 65 cents so I can have a discount to buy in. But it didn't. It bounced today. So it is what it is. Actually, it went all the way down to 71 cents. And then it's starting to bounce right now. It is what it is. Arc X today is up 11 cents, 0.055%. Uh, big B I G G C N. I was looking at this. Don't have an uh, investment, but I was thinking of buying it. Hut uh, today is up 5.49%. Voyager is up 7.3%. SOS. Woo, look at that. Down 58 cents today, 9.95% and 8.6%. Ride today is uh, up 43 cents, 3.66%. Uh, XL Fleet, still don't have a position of this one, but it's down today, 29 cents, 3.38%. Romeo. Romeo stock is uh, down today, 26 cents. Cresco Labs is down 4 cents. Game is down $2.65, 1 1.49%. Um, Neo is up today, $1.33. And I bet you anything, if Neo is up, Tesla is up. Tesla is up. Boom, see? Chart looks exactly the same. Um, what is the market doing? The market is green. Well, it's a little bit red, but it's mostly green, especially the NASDAQ. GameStop arrow adds bullish force to the market, so we find. Anyways, that's it for my video. S&P 5 traffic's at record high as early Tuesday invested awaits pal speech Thursday. Oh, anyways, uh, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.